And today we are going to open up with Reinvigorated by Team Spen and Conclan. So what's going on, Doctress? Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Uh, so this was for a um, mapping competition on Thinking with Portals to tell me a story. Color map for Thinking with Portals, seventh mapping con competition, tell me a story. If you get trapped, turn on SV cheats, no clips, and use right click to jump even when in the air. Okay, interesting. Uh, this is a slightly updated version to submit a map, change the include optimized assets to fix, fix workshop max file size, working elevator videos, clips to prevent trapping near scaffolding, required PT entities, uh, hacky sound script to work with the workshop. Uh, link to the actual submit one is there on the Discord, and then we've got credits for permanent, Kanben, uh, Tiwan, and Con Contron for different bits and pieces, and it was playtested by Permatemp and Reaper. Uh, I'm good, thanks, uh, Doctoress. Very good indeed. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump in. And uh, we will take a look. But I can't remember, I don't know what the actual competition was about, bearing in mind, but... Oh. We're a ball. We're a ball. Well, this is interesting. Slightly different. It almost reminds me of um, Batcat back in the day. Um, I just kind of decided almost to kind of get rid of it just for the time being. Um, Doctress, I think, like, especially for these, these like, shorter streams, I don't think they're necessary to have, like, a seven, eight minute countdown or stuff. And sometimes I'm kind of like pushing like up against the limit to like actually get in the stream going so it kind of doesn't fit in almost um but yeah uh what's going on crazy hope you're well welcome welcome so yeah this is a very interesting map isn't it it's almost like a, a three a, a third person experience here with portal so uh how are we gonna get up here my day's going all right thank you very much for asking doctors. How about yours? Can I press this? Is this a button I can press? It's not. I can jump. Of course I can jump. Yours is going well so far. Good to hear. I totally forgot that you can jump and fall also. Wow, it's a bit... A bit, um, isn't it? so choppy though what's like going on again with like my setup i changed everything so that i wouldn't have like a choppy bits and pieces but uh i apologize guys it seems that uh you'll have some choppiness going on I do apologize. All right, so let's put ourselves on here. Nope. I guess we're not waited long enough. So I, go, I keep forgetting I can jump. So do we have to like go up this scaffolding, I guess? That would be pretty neat. Unless we can now use this as a ramp, maybe? I'm sure I can actually like to get rid of that though. Get rid of the toolbox then maybe, yeah, there we go. Now we can maybe like use this as a ramp. There we go. I guess I gotta maneuver this into position like this way. <laughs> yeah, he's uh he made a naughty boy. I'll leave it at that. Alright then. I guess I get fizzled. I mean, I should never really. I never tried that, but I, I assume that I get fizzled if I was to uh, go for a fizzler, right? 
as I am a testing element. But uh, let's see what we've got over here. There's just some more scaffolding here that we can get onto. Ah, uh, yes, it was crazy, yeah. I'm going to go this way, maybe? Save as well. Why wasn't this in, like, um... Why wasn't this in Epic Edition? I need to... It's the sort of thing that uh, you'd expect to see in something like Epic Edition, right? Oh, I didn't jump. It'd be really cool if it had, like, um, if the camera angle wasn't fixed and I could rotate the camera angle, though, with, um... Mouse or something. That'd be a cool touch, but... I get why you possibly haven't done that from like a detailing point of view. It makes things a little bit easier. I have to detail as much. Steerike! <laughs> That's cool. Then what do I do? Knock this off here. Yes. I should do. I should probably save. What's that done? Is that um Oh interface platforms, that's all I need to do, I don't need to do anything else with it. Knock as always over complicating stuff. As always. The long road to doom. All oh, the drama is building. It's building. They have textures though. The Rogan on the other side. Uh I thought I'd need to like bash into this. free the light at the end of the tunnel oh boy wow this is uh this is something it's like a speed run kind of thing of it oh my goodness All in one! Oh my god. The uh Oh my goodness. I guess I gotta avoid the gates this time. Everything's like getting very glitchy though, I'll be honest. Yeah, I gotta avoid the gates. And I did wonder if that's like where we would respawn from if we died. Now my question has been answered. This reminds me of like marbles on stream. Marbles on stream in, in Portal 2. Oh, seriously catch the end of that? Wow. I don't really think there's much point in like holding forward. I don't think I touched that, but I'm not going to argue. Oh, 
Jeez, that's uh, my last turn is pretty steep. Yes, it's like a combination between like marbles on stream and golf with your friends. It's bizarre. <laughs> Does it remember like each of my things every time I go over one? And just like I end up with like a ma musical masterpiece. Is that what's happening here? <laughs> that's pretty clever, if that's what that is. That is really clever. And we wake up. Now back to reality. With our old school Dell PC. I, lo I love to see that in a map. And uh, our oversized iPhone. Geez, that's, uh, that's a rather large iPhone. Of course, there's the obligatory I made a hammer map. Let's. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to explore a little bit more. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the sort of like obligatory, um, oh, I made a hammer map. Let's put a picture of the hammer editor in the hammer map. But uh, no, that's like, that, was, that was a really cool concept. Really cool con not what I expected at all. I didn't I just saw this and thought puzzle, but no. Reminds me, like I said, very much of the uh Batcat stuff. Batcat used to do lots of stuff with uh, balls and like some weird concepts. So yeah. Reminded me of that indeed. Alright, next up we got Toggle from a Sears 16. And uh it's an easy medium light bridge puzzle. The name of this chamber suggests I have experimented with uh, as the name, sorry, of the chamber suggests, I've experimented with having a toggle button for the first time. In this case, it controls an angle panel, allowing the light bridge to be either portable or non-portable. Thanks to Terminator TF playtesting, music is Darkness from Portal Pro, and as always, feedback is appreciated. Alrighty then. Feedback is appreciated, and my computer is running like a potato. So we can't get across there. By doing that, so I have to walk across this side. Bhutan. Okay, so there is our toggle. So we are able to do one or the other here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now we can walk across to this side. And we'll be able to go and get ourselves a cube. Okay, cube acquired. And what have we got here for these end lines are a little bit sure that does at the minute. Now one would assume Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to press this button and think everything is... Oh, we can't press that button. It's got a water through fizzle to do this, so... Maybe instead we're going to need to take this cube back. It seems uh, a logical step. So we take that back. 
Uh, we now have a short cut back through to there. And we can now turn this off. And we can pick up the cube. Now that's where it gets interesting though, we can pick up the cube. And does this turn that fizzler off? Yes, I used to crazy. Um, I, I assume we're going to need to take the cube through here. Um, but yeah, long story short is I don't anymore because I think a recent update with Portal may have messed everything up. Okay. So we do that. Now, I need to get back over there. Back over to that side, which is not necessarily the easiest of things to do. If I was to the only way to get back over to there is to use the light bridge on here. So we're gonna have to retoggle this at some point. So is it just a case that we do this? We are back to here. Nope, I should have toggled the button. Alright, let's do a cheeky control Z. This is going to help though because it will require us then to walk back around and do other stuff, right? So, yeah, we need to keep there, but we also need to now toggle the button. So, how are we going to toggle the button? Bouton do toggle. Did this set up that cube down there. Okay, so we need, let's reverse again to this state create a save there because what's going on Rector? Hope you're well buddy. How is life treating you right now? Because we'll set that there and there. We'll walk across to here. And then we portal to there and there. And now we do toggle that. Portal there. Take the cube. Uh, portal there. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Cool map. Very cool map indeed. Uh, the toggleable panel is. Um, the toggleable panel certainly adds like that extra depth to it. Um, understanding what you need, what state you need in, and it was a little bit confusing at the start because I knew that I needed to detoggle that panel and also have the cube there. Um, but yeah, it was relatively simple enough to uh, understand. So yeah, cool stuff. Uh, have I played the quest for a punchline? Have I played the quest for a punchline? I don't think so. I don't think I have. No, I don't think I've uh, heard of it. If I'm honest, crazy. All right, next up is Beacon. From a Nintendo Urk. Uh, let's take a look. I imagine this will be a relatively short one.
Uh, flings and lasers, rebamp are something old, thanks to Deathwish for playtesting and feedback. Thanks to the Hydrate Doctors. Ah. Interesting, looks like Eric's been playing around with, like, water lights now. Oh man. That's an interesting effect, I mean, it, it's pretty weird. I'll be honest, it's a pretty weird effect. Okay, so. This respawns the one cube. I'm going to rage at this map. That leads me down to there. Okay, so we need a... Okay, so we can lower that. Not sure why we'd want to do that, unless there's like some sort of easter egg or something that we can smash into something. Um, exit is controlled by... a cube... there. So, I dare say we're going to need to take the laser and angle it into a portal surface somewhere. Ground level. Doesn't quite cut it, does it, there. So... It's dead center. That is dead center. All right, so what we'll do instead then? Let's go down here and down here. Take this cube. And we'll put this cube here. And then with this cube, we'll go through to this side. That way, that one sits. Oh, wait a second, though. That's, um... Hmm. I was thinking what I could do there is, like, I could stack... ...cubes. Oh, okay. I see what I... ...mistake I have made. We need to do that there first. Okay. So, in that case... What's going on around me? Ah, okay. It's uh, interesting. do this. Yeah. But I need to do that with a cube, because I need to get the cube up here, and this is a way to... Aha! So we've got this, we've got this, we can do this, take this through to this side, angle this across to here like so. into there and out there and then I'm done. I think. I 
think. Oh. Doctress. So if we can't get over to there by flinging, how does one? Does one? this cube. I'm going to have to respawn that to get that up to the top, right? That would seem like the logical play there. So the other the other thought on this is is there a way that I could a way that I could get Secret raiding with the party of five. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome, raiders. And uh, thank you very much, everybody, for the follows as well. TRM, Biggie, and it's secret. Thank you very much, much appreciated. Welcome, welcome, everybody. And uh, Red Demon Queen, thank you very much also for the follow. Appreciate it. We're already playing a map called Beacon from Nintendo Work on the Portal 2 Community workshop, workshop here. But I uh, hope you're all well. What was you... Uh, thanks again for the Raider Secret. What was you... Uh, what was you streaming? So what I'm wondering here is... I could send the cube up to there. Right. Uh, by doing something like... I need to do it like where I'm going to stand here, when I? That could get the cube up into that position over there. Oh, well, it would have done it if I put it in the right place. But I would have got that into there. Now, the problem is here, though. That reactivates the fizzler. And there's no way for me to get into there, is there? Which is the problem. So, I'm not sure what the... Um, yeah, we definitely need to keep up to here. I mean, maybe. I was going to say maybe we don't angle that over to there. We just leave that in that position. Now, the problem we're doing that, though, is we're not going to be able to... 
leave a port on there, are we? Uh, yes, we totally are. We totally are. All right, so maybe that is a solution instead. Do this, jump down here, jump across to the other side. And we respawn the cube. Like that. That opens up that section, so we can do... Portal there. That removes it, and we can then realign this cube. Just to there. And boom, yeah. So the reason we couldn't do that in the original, uh, originally, uh, is because if we take a look at the laser here, it kind of like lines up in the middle of this panel here. But um, yeah, just because we was over there, it didn't mean that we had to had to point that in there. And obviously, once we've uh, seen that and got around that issue, um, everything fits together quite nicely, and uh, the solve was as I'd expected. So yeah, cool stuff, Eric. Thank you very much for the map. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, cool. Let's move on to the next. And this is Defection by Aesir's 16. So let's take a look at the description. Uh, defection, easy, medium, because the puzzle featuring funnel and two cubes. Hi, guys and gals. I'm back with a brand new chamber. I was stuck in a rut creatively for many weeks, but it recently inspired me to come up with this new puzzle from Fumbly Bumbly's excellent map, Occlude. Thanks to TF Playtesting, the music is 15 Acres of Broken Glass from Portal 2. And as always, feedback is appreciated. All right, let's take a look to see what Sears has come up with this time. I know I'm like massively behind with map requests and, and whatnot, but Sears has been pumping out the maps recently, which is um, really nice to see. Seems like we've got a bit of a, a toggle going on here again, this time with a floor button. So, okay, first question, that doesn't auto-respawn, so we can't just spawn that and let that go. So, how are we going to get started here? I guess we're going to have to go down though, aren't we? It's the only way. And I'm not really sure there's much point here, or much merit in spawning the cube, because like I said at the moment... Uh, it's just not going to respawn, so it's just going up in the juice. So until we can permanently put down that panel or find another way around, uh, there's not much point in that at all. You think you've started this one, Red Demon Queen, or the one before? Alright, so over here, we have this, and we can get this cube. If possible. Okay. So we're doing things and stuff here. Uh, now we can take this cube through to this side. And that gives us stairs to return back. Which is interesting. We've also put the cube there, which is for the exit. So we don't need to worry ourselves with that one just at the minute, I don't think. But now what we can do is we can sacrifice this cube here or we can get this orange cube. So we can do this, do that. That's going to fly nicely across to here. We have this cube. That cube acquired, what I can really do with now though, is fizzling portals. I think what I'll do, just for the time being, I'll leave that cube there. We'll go back and do the stuff with the blue cube again. And that should then allow me to get the orange cube into the funnel without using the funnel. I'm going to come back over here and portal it over to there. We can see what that does for us. I mean, am I missing something with this? I mean, is that is that for the exit? Uh, yes. All right. So it's a double exit requirement. That and that gets us to the exits. Um, okay. So what I need to do now then is I need to put a portal on there, and then I need to make my way backwards. Yeah, that's what we're going to do here. So. 
put this cube on this button like so. And then we will do what? We need to think about what we need to think about this a little bit. Obviously we can we can put a portal there and a portal on there, which is all well and good. Um hmm, you see but the problem is with so Alright guys, apologies for that. Uh, where was we? Uh, Alright, so we were trying to, I was just sort of talking about what we could potentially do here. So, I... Here's, here's my problem. We need cubes on both the buttons. Now, I need to... Or I'm guessing I need to... Place the cube here first. Unless, of course, there is a portable surface up there. So let's let's work on the basis that there's a portable surface up there first. So Mike and Fumbly, what's going on, guys? Hope you're well. Welcome along. So if there's a portable surface up there, then we just portal to there, uh, portal up here, move the cube into position, and we are done. However. Hmm. Okay. There is no portable surface. We haven't used this, have we? No. Okay, so. I'm not done with this puzzle just yet. We haven't used this button. That would make loads more sense. I think. Because now we're not limited to where that's being used from, are we? Alright, so... I think we need to leave that there, and our next plan of action is to get the blue cube up here. Does it matter? Let's think. Take that, move that to there, go back into... I don't think it matters, actually. Uh, yes, it does. It will matter, because if we leave this on here, then we need to respawn the cube. There's no other way of getting that cube off that button. So we swap the cube, we put the blue cube there. We take the orange one, put the orange one down there, respawn blue, go back into there with the blue cube, and then go to the top. So, yeah. We're not quite there, but I think I've worked it out. Mr. Fab! What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Now we just drop down here. Place this cube on the button. And then we go back through to here. Back through to here. Uh, actually, I didn't respawn the cube. My mistake. Oh, wait a second. I respawn the cube. Um... No, no, that's, that's totally right. Uh, we don't need to respawn the cube, we, so we could have done the super cube. We need to go back around there ourselves. So what will happen is we'll take the cube off the button, I'll put the panel back up again, then we can swap the black portal there back onto that panel over there, and then we're done. And we can ride that all the way to the exit. That's... So yeah, we could have actually got away with without... Like swapping the cubes, I guess. I think that would have worked if we hadn't swapped the cubes. 
But uh, yeah, another cool puzzle indeed, I see us. Thank you very much for making. Really enjoying the puzzles at the minute. Like I say, I am massively behind though with puzzle progress, so um, it's probably like really old and stuff, but no, cool stuff. And enjoyed it a lot. Next up, we've got Knock It Off by Sky Ferret. Interesting. Use of my name. Um, okay, this looks relatively simple. Uh, just a quick puzzle I put together. The I think the title says it all. All right. I wonder what we gotta do. Do you think we gotta put the cube on the button? Is that how we're gonna get out? Get out here? That's there. Uh, two cubes. I know it's a rarity these days, I'll be honest. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what we're going to have to do here. The only thing I don't know is, do I need to cover the rest of this? I don't know if I can though, but yeah, but in effect, all we're going to do is just drop this like this. Let's go slide down there, knock it out of the way, and yeah, <laughs> there we go. E to the Z, indeed. All right, next, next up, we have got 90 Degree Kelvin by Alpha 5. Climb way up. Uh, we've got a good another 10 minutes. We're good for another 10 minutes, so maybe the last one today. And we've got here, Easy Medium. Uh, from early 2018 to late 2020, I published zero maps. I took a long break from Portal 2 due to burnout, but it, I was hit with some inspiration to create something this week. I wouldn't expect too many more puzzles from the, me as of the time being, but you never know when inspiration will strike. Thanks to the Kong Clan for playtesting the map. It's in its early stages and pointing out exploits I would have would have found otherwise. I wouldn't, sorry, have found otherwise. Uh, if you find any exploits, try me to put it in the comments below. And thank you very much, Alfie5. What's with the name? Weird. I think Steam's having a derp. A derp, a derp, a derp. Uh, this was back in late October last year, so that goes to show how far behind I am currently with my queue. And uh, I haven't been playing maps for quite some time. But, all right, let's see what we got here. Got some gel. I see a turret. Reminiscent of another Alfie map I played a while ago. I say a while ago, but we're talking like a long while ago. A little, 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 let me speak. A long while ago. Jeez. A bit good at talking, Knock. Ah, do that. One gets the crazy seal of approval. Some gel there, I guess. Need be. Can we? I almost wonder if I need to like put some gel here. I can, of course. But that would also hinge on me um, shooting the right portal and stuff. Oh yeah, I, I, I know. I totally know what it is. Uh, crazy. They just steam's just having a big derp at the minute. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's going too far, so... Uh, that's not the answer to our, our prayers. And our questions here. Alright, so... Got an area up there. Pretty sure that's not going to reach, but we'll try anyway. Oh, but we can't get back here, can we? Um, forgot about that. Um, slight oversight. Once again, I forgot about it, but we can go back this way once the turrets have shut down. Try and maybe target them from here instead. Also, like try something like this. Help! Oh. Is there anything over there? No, nope, there's just green. Well, that's not going to help us. Uh, we have funnels and stuff. Okay, so we want some bounce gel over here. Hmm. And I guess from this we're going to use the funnel, right, to get us in some different positions. So I need to be able to get into here, it seems. Now... I did wonder if there was like a way to... I just nerf the gel. We could get a little bit more height if we went from this side, I think, rather than the other side. Potentially. wrong clearly. It's, uh... Ah, okay, well. over here. There's a fizzler there. Alright, well just for argument's sake. Certain death. Certain death. So. So it's not going to do anything, it's just going to end up 
all in the water. Oh, I'm bad at jumping. If I did this then instead, I can't jump over there because I are bad, but I get extra height here. Right, so let's do this, and then we'll put a portal on here. Maybe I don't need to bounce. Maybe I just fly through. It'd work, right? Yes, it would work. But it would need the turrets to be on cooldown, right? Yeah, it's manipulating the turret AI almost. I need to not hold. Okay. We got up. And the turrets are gone. Fantastic. And looks like that is permanent. It's good. Okay. Uh, permanent there. So let's again save here. So we at least now have like a way back over to here, right? Welcome back, Doctress. That gets me back, however. What does it actually do for me in regards to anything else? Obviously I can send gel this way. Put a portal there and send it into there. What I'm not sure about is why this fizzler exists. that fizzler exist? Oh, unless there's a way you can like sneak your way into like the funnel and then like shoot a portal there perhaps. Maybe that's why it exists. Okay. So, I think what I need to do here though is let's go back this to there like that. Okay. Then what? Because, I mean, that's all well and good. Help anything there. Does it also need to get some gel over here? 
So, we're going to need to get... That's what they're there for there, I guess. problem here is I don't know how we would set that up with regards to getting a portal on the ceiling I think that's what I need to do I need to press the button and the portal on the ceiling can actually make that. If I can make that, then that's that's the solution. I've pretty much written that off though before, haven't I? Yeah, and that's why. But, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, but I can't do that. I was going to say, if I use the funnel... Can I, like, get up here, please, game? Much obliged. Much obliged, much appreciated, even. I mean, that's going to give me something new, because I couldn't get up to there before. So now I can get back. Okay, now I can get back. Now I can get back. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Good progress. So, um... Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I can do this. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. I want to get up the top, don't I? I can do this. And I can place that there. And now I can go back. What I couldn't do before. Because I didn't have the paint in the right places. Then I do this and this. I can get some gel over here now. All right. Now we have access to this in here. I guess we just do the same bit again. But we um, said so this time we send the gel that way. To land on the turrets, make the turrets go bounce, and we are done, I think. We're done. Put on that one to give us the most amount of time.
But yeah, I don't know what the... I'm calling with you, family. I don't know what the second um, portal surface is for. And there we go. We are done. It's definitely the one like the one that I used was um the one I used was obviously giving me more time. So I don't know why you'd want to use the one that was closer to the funnel and the fizzler, because it would reduce the amount of time you've got then to get down and go around again. Um But yeah. All maps all around today. All maps all around. So th guys, thank you very much for hanging. As always, I appreciate the support. Uh, we're back tomorrow for some more um back tomorrow for some more Paul 2 community I'm just going to throw a raid over to Death Uniteds who is currently playing some Celeste mods so uh go and give uh Death some love but until next guys thank you very much I've been Nock you've been awesome take care stay safe happy gaming